Hi everybody, this is Daniel. So today, I believe uh, you all are here for one specific reason. It's to have uh, ways to save your game data uh, on a cloud base. But there are just some games on Steam that doesn't really have Steam Cloud. And you know, you pay quite a lot for it and you know, that achievement you get and suddenly all your save is gone. And uh, there's no way to retrieve it, you know, like for example, your computer got corrupted, your computer got a virus, you know, ransomware and it all got encrypted and there's no way to retrieve it. So, uh, I believe all of you have noticed that the Steam, uh, some of Steam game that uh, if you look through the specification on the right hand side, there's no Steam Cloud for Sleeping Dog. So I was quite shocked when I tried to play the game and my save data is gone. But luckily I only spent about 2 hours, so I lost about 2 hours of achievement when I bought a new SSD and I need to do migration but instead I just reformat the whole thing I only back up the important stuff because I trust games to have Steam Cloud but uh, just certain games that doesn't have uh, and especially the famous Rockstar game like L.A. Noir and uh, to mention the Red, Red Dead Redemption 2 the new game from uh, Rockstar don't even have Steam Cloud so I'm not sure about how the game is like but there are areas where uh, there's single player games that definitely need to have you know some save so I'm shocked that they don't have the save so in the event where you're playing halfway and suddenly uh, your, your computer got some stuff and there's no way you can use it so I tried various methods like Dropbox and uh, it's rather complex and you know uh, Google Drive all those are very complex and uh, I found a good way to overcome it uh, and to do a backup. It might be a bit tedious, but it's workable and uh, it's very, very reliable and safe that I would say. Okay, so I'm going to go through, uh, introduce you to a platform where people use it to store your codes and everything. So we are going to use uh, those software to backup for your uh, games. So, uh... I will proceed on to introduce you to uh okay I'll pause the video for a while and show you the website yes okay I'm back I'm gonna introduce you to GitHub okay we are using what people use to code and so on to really do the uh assessment and so on so uh we have GitHub one of them one of the more popular tools and we also have uh. GitLab, you know, what's the good thing about this is that, you know, they have the uh, private repository. I mean, if your data is very, very important to you, you want to hide it, okay, that is a uh, way, okay, it's private, so only you can see it. And I remember there was a time where you can just go to Game FAQ to download save for your PlayStation PSP, yeah. So now uh, we can use GitHub and GitLab, so you can check out the tutorial that I have to set it up. So in here, I'm just going to show you uh, how to do the backup and how it is, how easy it is to do so. Okay, so I'll just use a sleeping dog as an example to really see it. So uh, just access the drive where you store all the games. These are all the games, not all the games, I store some in C drive. Okay, these are more or less the games that you have in, uh, I would say I'm going to lower down the light. Yeah, these are more or less the game that you have in uh, the folders. Okay, so I'm going to Sleeping Dogs, the game that I recently have and I have complained about it. So, all this location, don't you worry, you can go and check out on uh, Google if you cannot really find it. So, I actually find the location through Google. I don't spend my time to dig here and dig there. Okay, so go to Steam data so i roughly know there are all the data so if you're gonna do it individually i realized that you know uh dropbox is quite trouble so you need to drag copy paste copy paste so there might be you know uh a lot of unnecessary things you know sometimes this save is not good you want to retrieve back the other save okay no worries this one has version controlling this is very very good and it is a platform where coders use to manage their code imagine how useful this is to back up your save data and these save files are not huge okay they are less than one mb i would say all oh, that add together but if you were to back up the whole thing i was shocked when i look at it the save data is 
five three gig. So that's not an issue. We only need these few essential files. These are the essential files that we need. Okay, I believe I made one here. So what you need is to know how to create a git uh, repository. So I'm going to proceed on to use the uh, uh, source tree. Okay, I introduced source tree and git kraken. So here we have a few. Okay, so we're going to create a new one. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to go to data. Okay, go to the data, create a new folder, which I created just now. I was doing a backup and I realized it's very useful to share with all of you. Okay, so what we want here is to cut away all of this. Okay, and paste it to here. Okay, I'm going to paste it there. So make sure this data is empty. Okay, I'm going to make a uh, empty folder. Okay, so it's going to be empty. Make sure Okay, we're going to set up the uh, repository right now. I'm going to teach you how to really create a repository. What we want now is to really create a new repository. And you need to select the location, which is the uh, data, which I told you how to empty it. So select that section. Okay, here is the file name. So what I want to do is actually to create the GitHub. Yeah. So here is the owner. And is it private? Yes. It's a private repository. In fact, here if you want, you can actually change the name to uh, the name that you want your files to be sleeping dog data. Okay, test. This is actually for me a test. Uh. Okay, so create it. Gonna take some time to create. Okay, now it is up already. And you see, uh, you need to verify is it really up on the repository. And that's my GitHub. Oh, it's up here already. Okay, so this is a test. So what we want right now is to uh, get the file that you have. Copy. Okay, what you want is to copy the one without Git because that one is created by me. Okay, what you want is to paste all this file up there. Okay, it's going to take some time to copy. It's 3 gig. Yeah. And I have shifted quite a amount of time. That is quite a lot of time already. Yeah. Just for this testing. But it's okay. It's okay. Okay. So after you do this already, it has copied everything. You will go into the uh, file status. You realize that it's a bunch of files, which you cannot see all because I have already hide all. So uh, what we want is only these five files. Go and check like, what is the important files for you. For the save and you go and uh, if the file is not important just go to there and put ignore okay if it's important okay make sure you don't ignore and then after you ignore all the important so make sure you can stage and press the, the plus button or you can just stage all okay stage all when you have ignore all the stuff so you just select the one you want and ignore all okay and then what you want to do next is to uh, create a commit so commit uh, make sure, uh, let's say you want to name it like, you know, uh, 10 May Saved. Yeah. Anything, it's a description. It doesn't really matter. It's just for you to recognize in the future or maybe uh, after defeating a particular boss. Yes. Then you commit. Okay, all this will be in the tutorial uh, I, I'm, I have uh, previously and I'll put in the cards so you can actually see at the top there. Okay, make sure you push it uh, to a master. In fact, you can play around with the branches and so on like I mentioned in the uh, previous video that I have. Yeah, so you can actually look into that and have a good understanding of it. So what you want is to explore into your repository and select the test. Okay, and you can see the files are up there. And in fact, you can check the commits. Okay, so the source tree is really, really beautiful piece of uh, software we can actually uh, check. Okay, so because that's only one save done, you can actually see uh, here, and this is the files that I chose to ignore because uh, those are very big files, and what we need are only these save files. Yeah, so hope this tutorial is useful for you in saving your games and having a cloud backup you know so you don't have to have the hassle of putting it in your thumb drive or whatever and something happened to it you know it get wet it get lost it got misplaced and you know your safe are all gone so uh 
uh, or your computer got a virus and you don't need to get worried about it because everything is safe in the cloud so in fact you can see the uh, you can find a way of re retrieving it from the cloud okay which is the github uh, in the other tutorials everything is in the tutorial you can see but we are making good use of github or GitLab into you know having a safe for your game and you know your game safe are safe your know, that ultimate rare weapon is still there and so on hope this video will be useful for you uh, and if you do like it Make sure you share it with your friends and you find it useful, you know, they are having this issue. Yeah, in fact, you can do this for tons of things. Okay, so hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.